we go. The swamp donkey has been saved from under a tree. 20 something years she's been standing there. Let's get this thing in, yeah? What do you think of the swamp donkey, Arno? Yeah, it looks like it's been 10 feet under water for 50 years. As you can see, raining like hell today. The floor is flooded. Can't wait, it's off bro. Don't worry about it. Don't stress. When he pulls forward, we'll move it forward. Forward? No, no, when you go, we'll move it forward. So here we have it, the Dodge 300 Swamp Monster, or Swamp Donkey actually, so it's just stuffed. But yeah, as you can see, it's definitely in absolute garbage condition. Still got a cab light. Glass is still good, which is what I want. Which I can leave. I don't know what this goes to the is in there. Load bed is gone. I think it was an ex military vehicle ammo carrier or something <coughs> pretty heavy duty tomorrow if we get some time which we probably won't but let's see we'll try to get this thing started sometime this week yeah we tied it down let's see what's in there it's a slant six with the manual. Drive train wise it still looks okay. Body has definitely died around it, but from what I hear that's pretty common for dodges. So we'll see. Clean that slant six up, see if we can get it to crank over. I 
Yeah. Just turning over. That's a good sign. If it turns over, so that means if it turns, it'll start. Oh no, you okay? Okay, we're waiting for paint to dry, so we're quickly slamming a battery into this thing. Let's check, is any electrical working there, bro? Watch out, it's sick. Oh my god! It's got a hooter, of course it's got a hooter. Mr. Like, oh no, we'll always make sure it's got a hooter, bro. Any lights working? Put this pipe into the petrol. With the Oh, there, the indicator was working there. Yeah, check it out, bro. Yeah. Hard to believe, bro. <laughs> Crawls out of the ocean, but the indicators are working. It's like we get ones that come off of like show trucks, but none of the electrical works. Akbalega, Baba, this thing's going to start today, you'll see. Quick, the rain is coming, bro. We're raining wet here. That's even the gauges are lighting up, bro. Oil pressure. Shit, I'm falling in love with this ugly thing. Huh? Yeah, put it, put it on the bumper. I think we have to put the petrol in the car right there first. No, no, put it there, bro. Let it crank a bit so that the pistons are... No, don't worry about that. It's an old one. From here. Yeah, we don't need that. We're not using the tank, Baba. Got it. Where are we going to crank it from? The key? Hoi, <laughs> hoi. Wait. Oh no, you got the battery the wrong way around, bro. I'm fucking telling you, you've got the positive onto the earth. I'm telling you. That's a positive. What do you mean? That's a negative. Man. It was making don't, smoke. Don't come off your fucking... <laughs> Why is it coming smoke? No, it, it was making smoke, yeah. That's probably a bad earth we've got. Look at this bad earth here. Yeah. We need to hit that thing with a hammer. No, we need jumper cables now. Why? Just to put a bit of earth on the, onto the engine. I left them at my house, they're in the other Viking. Well, you only do so much then, eh? Well, then People crank the inside, let me see what... I'll turn it, bro. Body solenoid seems to be at, uh, it's uh, not good anymore. What is that? Where does this go there? Oh, that's probably got a deposit. Oh! Step two, we're about to put the jumper cables on and see what happens. Chakalaka, bro. You could be working on Toyotas, bro. Think about it. Aren't you how you like to work on trucks, eh? <laughs> oh, ladies, Mr. September's in early this time of the year. Check at him, check at him. Ooh. Gonna get the hits on YouTube today, eh? Check. <laughs> Petrol, keep Petrol. Is it connected? <laughs> ah. What the fuck is this? This is dangerous. What the fuck is this? It's a stick, bro. What do you think it's going to earth it out? Short it out more than short. Same thing. No, it's not. Ready, keep Come, Come, let's go. Come let's go. Okay, wait. Let me accelerate you. All right, let's go. Where's 
should maybe get that air filter off. Hey. Yeah, and just check if it's uh, powered to the coil. Just check when you hit the throttle there if petrol goes in the car. Probably just the carb strap. Don't hear petrol going. Eh? Don't hear any petrol in there. Put some petrol in the cap there, Mr. Kidwell. Put some petrol in here. All right, Mossy, get ready to crank, bro. Throw that in there. Uh -uh. We need a... Uh... Oh, we got spark. I don't know. Let's check for spark. Here's a screwdriver. All right, it's raining as usual. The last few days seems to be just be rain. We're going to quickly see if we can start this thing while we wait for some paint to dry. Hey, no, no. What we basically, what's happened here, Mr. Arno? We dealt with some auto electrical stuff. Tell us what's going down. Now, we, we gave the engine a new earth with jumper cables. We've supplied the body relay with 12 volt supply so the engine can crank and it still didn't want to start. So, we uh, checked for some power supply on the coil and there was 12 volt supply on the coil and then yeah just swapping out the, uh, the coil with, with another inline 6 coil so let's see what she does now Get some Bill Cosby sauce too. Right, 27 years under a tree. Let's see what happens then. Once it gets here. No pee. Yeah. Did not get electrocuted. Eh? Some fuel in that carb. Kid, well, put some petrol in the cap here for me. Yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, that is fine. Can you crank it first, Mr. Shaw? Coming. Ready? Yeah, next step will probably to go to your to distribute the cap. See what's going on there. Again. Go. Shia. Back inside you go. Is that coil getting power now? Maybe it's that shit coil there. Crank it again, Kipo. Crank it. Yeah. yeah.
So anyway, in other news, Kudos cleaning this out. He hasn't found anything weird yet. Set some awesome gauges. All right. Swamp donkey's had a bit of a clean, thanks to Kidwell. Anna has been digging in on the insides. We've got like a whole lot of stuff going down here. I'm gonna try a swinger, see if she goes. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, but we're gonna get bronchitis here in the rain. Oh, monkey pox, even worse. You ready? Go. That's it. Let's go. Yeah, whatever. Okay, Anna is claiming the swamp donkey might start. No, I'm not saying that. Now we're gonna put some petrol in here. Ready? No, 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 no. Okay, so we're gonna put some petrol in here. Here we go, we have a, we got a nice sunny day here today for the first time. Uh, we're gonna see if we can quickly get the uh, swamp donkey to start. Change the points and stuff on it. <laughs> Swamp donkey. It sounds, it sounds like a donkey. Oh, That's a petrol there. No, more petrol. Don't worry about that. Right there. Petrol in Kibble, put some petrol in that bottle, my baba. Yes, it's there. Uh, oh, 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 for the yeah this one yeah oh no uh, this one that. yeah so that one there and then this one needs to go there okay yeah don't keep <laughs> Donkey lives. Uh, you know, 
bad reasons, but flat now. Yeah, start? but we work. She works. That's a success. We know the Swamp Donkey runs now. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Kidwell. Legends of the Donkey return. As we have a water leak. Seems to be coming from the thermostat housing. Anyway. But it's a dodge bro. They don't need fucking water. They just need petrol. Water is like an under over. It's a luxury. It's a luxury. Come fucking swamp donkey. Run. So hopefully this is the part two and the final part of the will it run for swamp donkey. Because we know she started this morning briefly. So we wired in a electric fuel pump in the shadow of the damn phone we've got a most it here that's usually a sign of success already put new points in put a different coil in got the carb connected put in water but it all just pissed out the bottom the term is that sleeking or cracked obviously she's had enough water over the years just in case you were wondering we're not gonna fix this truck because if you see this is how rusted she is you can literally just lift the whole roof off of her so yeah but what we have for her is a brand new cab standing here we get this cab painted up, done up, put that onto the swamp donkey, sort that six up, and make it a flatbed car hauler. Did you see why this fucking pump is not running right here? Is it the right way around? Crank it from inside. Yeah, just, can you just keep the good air here? Yeah. Alright, Swamp Donkey, let's do this. Right. Almost. Ready. Okay, we have action. Swamp Donkey, will it run? <laughs> Your hand over the calf. Crank it, bro.
battery number two. Let's see what's good for you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Let's put a bit of fuel in this carb. Okay, go. So we promised you guys we'll try to get the donkey going. So you'll check in this video. We spent a bit of about an hour or so we spent on it. We tried to the clutch and brake cylinders are seized up, so we had to drill holes in them. You'll check the video. Can't unbolt them off the firewall because as you can see there is no firewall. Once they come off, that's it, they'll never work again. So we're trying to see if we can get the cylinders freed up so that we can use the the clutch and the brakes to take her for a drive tomorrow before we start rebuilding her because obviously we said 500 people we've got 500 people so we're going to rebuild this donkey can turn it into something awesome better believe it check out the video let us know what you think tomorrow we'll do some more footage so there's me and Arno as you can see the swamp donkey got her 500 people so now we're going to try to see if we can get it going those things are rusted clothes so Anna's going to MacGyver some holes in the top of them to get some fluid in. There's the pedals. Oh, I'm going to the ground. Accelerator works. Clutch goes to the ground. Let's see. I don't know. Good luck you'll get this damn donkey running. So what's the idea? I think you must drill a hole. Well, first try hit that one off. Get this one off if it breaks off it breaks off but otherwise we're going to drill a hole there and we drill a hole there and we can fill them with fluid we just have to go around the block bro. Oh. we're going to put new in anyway extra water for the yeah the and this thing's leak. leaking somebody here is leaking i think on the water pumps leak was it yeah water pumps leak because i see here yeah, between the water pump and the, the block there's like a rubber hose that's perished but anyway, yeah, so we'll have to make a plan to feed water to the radiator. And then we can see if we can get it running. It's going to be a messy day. Let's go, Arno. Speed this footage up, or else people will die of old age. Bro. I'm gonna cue the Benny Hill music now. It's easy, easy to make the video while other people are working. Eh? No, I bet they say that to Steven Spielberg as well, bro. Don't fuck around with my hero. <laughs>
The thing is, I think the, the cylinders are stuck in here, but there's no way we're going to get those things off the firewall. The whole firewall is going to come off. So now we've opened the front of the clutch cylinder, <coughs> trying to see if we can free up that cylinder in there because we can't get this thing off the firewall because, uh, as you can see, oh my god, it's pretty rotten. We might need something smaller. You know what I would suggest? That we're on camera so I can't. So I'll go get something that's maybe a little bit bigger than what I was thinking of. But I can afford one. <laughs> I heard something spraying, I thought to myself, no, this is something that... Just to clean that hole, man, I needed something. What else should I spray in there? All right, we got the donkey running, driving, myself and Anna. Mostly on it, busted all day to get this thing running. She even drove with a full load. So in tonight's video, I'll show you some stuff of what we did and our little drive, our adventure with uh, the swamp donkey. Stuff for the people that build it in. Where was that again? Eh? Hey. Where that build it in again? In? What factory was that again? In uh, Elsie's River. Elsie's River. Yeah. yeah. Where was that? Uh, where was that sticker? There. Yeah. So okay, heads up Elsie's River, across the South Africa. Back in the heyday. Back in the heyday. So yeah, believe it or not, she actually went around the block more than once. She drove fantastic, all the gears worked, everything worked. And yeah, we hope you enjoy the video. All right, we're gonna try to start the donkey here. The donkey's running. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got the donkey ready to run. So basically, as you can see, we drilled holes in the masters to get fluid into them. We had to swap the 
Dodge Master up to the Ford Master. We've got a second hand, well, a new slave down there at the bottom, some aftermarket thing. It's a mini. And from a mini, yes. actually, yeah. And then we had a pipe made today. Connected the Holly fuel pump, which is probably worth more than the whole truck, to the fuel tank, which is on the front bumper. And so, special effects. And Arno's effects. been grinding in the sun today, where his legs are different color to his body, he's been grinding. So, yeah, this thing hasn't moved in what, like 20 something years, 22 years? It hasn't moved under its own power. We're about to find out if it'll move under its own power. All we basically did is only the, the points that we replaced. Yeah, we replaced points the points. And the clutch. Points in the clutch. And we'll see how the brakes perform. So, no, we don't need brakes, but we just got a heater. Uh, Let's go. Let's start off with this before you bring it. Gotta reverse. Check it out right for us, we can go. Huh? What? Stay in the 
Go, you bro. Past you. No, I'm good. Go right here. Again. That's a police van in front Let's see that quickly before you put it off. Donkey, well done, uh, donkey owner. Yeah, well done, donkey. I know, bro. I know, put in all the hours here today, bro. Yeah, 